Well, hello friends. Welcome back to the cabin. I don't know where you're at, if you can feel fall coming on, but we certainly can here. There's a lot of things that I've got to do before uh, fall gets here. Like number one, I need to get this top link fixed that we broke trying to dig the gas line. I tell you what, that was crazy. I've never seen that happen before. Uh, another thing that I've got to do is I've got to get those holes closed up with some mortar. And then I decided out here where I've got my propane tanks, I've got some cat blocks sitting over here and I've got a few extra that are laying around to dig this area up and I'm going to lay them down in here because that'll make it easier for me to set the two tanks level and then I plan on getting two additional tanks. So I'm going to go ahead and dig those in here to have a nice surface. This is some sheeting that I was allowing to dry in here that actually goes on the back of the workshop down there. I'm a little short on pieces. I need probably, I think, six or seven more, but I think that I've got a log that I can mill up uh, so that we can finish that. I'm supposed to pick my son up from the airport, so hopefully we can get that installed on the workshop. And I've got to finish the guttering on the back side as well as the front with the downspouts so that I can tear out all of the scaffolding so that I can start the third section of the timber frame workshop. So I think that any new lumber that I mill up, I'm going to go ahead and stack it up against this wall right here. I might even could lean it up against that wall and still be able to park the tractor in here. So let's get started. Well, no, that looks a whole lot better. They're actually sitting level. Um, I need to get something and strap around through here, but this will be a whole lot better. Um, and it will actually give me room. If I get one more tile, I can move that trash can down. I'll be able to sit two more here. So that'll be really nice.
Well friends, we got the fascia board put on the cabin. I got the metal put on the sides. Now we do lack a foot down there on the end. Got the metal on the sides. I still lack the corner pieces that actually cover the top of the metal and go over and touch the sides. So once I get uh, those two pieces put on, you won't see that gap that you've seen where I was putting that metal on. Um, but pretty much we can stick a fork in that. I still lack putting the guttering on the front, but what bothers me more is the guttering on the workshop down here in the tractor portion. That's what we're going to tackle next. Thank you. 
all right friends we are done with that we're heading back up here to work on the corner pieces of the metal roof on top of the cabin Well friends, that's a little job that I needed to do for some time and the primary reason is because we're going to be moving that wood stove out to uh, pipe the gas stove in. We've decided to go ahead and do that and with that stove weighing right about 500 pounds and then four guys, probably another 500 pounds, we decided that we wanted to put in some half inch bolts into the side because we didn't want to come out and actually go through the porch <laughs> in the event that that could happen. So. Uh, but you know, it's really nice to have power and the reason that I use my corded uh, tools is just so that I, I would be sure and have enough juice. And the EcoFlow Delta II Max doesn't have any problem delivering that with six ports on the back side. You know, we had a summer like we never had before and winter's coming on, who knows what that holds in store. So being able to have something like this to power up your home appliances could mean the difference between having spoiled food and possibly being cold this winter as opposed to 
having this to be able to power it up in an emergency until you can get your other uh, taken care of. Even comes with, or if you would like to get a, a 200 watt solar panel back here that you can charge it up even quicker. So we just wanted to share that with you guys. We have several of these EcoFlow products and they're top quality and we don't mind endorsing them on our channel at all. You know what? I smell the barbecue pit. Let's go up there and see what Jennifer's got cooking. So what is it we're fixing to have up here? We're going to have some ribeyes. The flame has almost died down and we're going to put these babies on there. Well, let's go ahead and do that then. We hungry. We hungry up in the house here. Yep. <laughs> That's mine. Okay. How about that? Songs to make the hit parade. Why's <laughs> one knows me how it made? So I was one of the Lord, we thank you for this food. We ask that you bless it to nourish our bodies, forgive us of our sins and our shortcomings. We give it all the glory, honor, and praise in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Okay, we got, what did we say? Ribeye, tomatoes, corn, and potatoes, peppers, onions, all that good stuff. Yeah, let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Potatoes. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Let's see what the meat tastes like. The meat is good too. You know, Patrick's birthday is what, in a week? Yes, it's in a week and Dad's is in a month and so... Well, I got, we weren't going to say anything about Dad's. Oh, well, I am. So I got the big notion to go ahead and celebrate their birthdays today. So we're eating out of a bunch of red birthday plates and happy birthday napkins. Well, I know you watched us do a lot of odds and ends, but those are things that had to be done before winter time. Because especially I didn't want to be up on an icy ladder trying to get the guttering up on the workshop down there because during the winter time you have a lot of moisture, you know. Then uh, we got the gut of the, not the guttering, but the fascia board put up on the cabin. So that was nice because I'd had that laying under there for two years. It looks so good. Yeah. And then Jennifer wanted to remind me that I was 65 years old, or going to be 65 uh next month yep. yeah and yeah. patrick will be 35 next week so yeah so uh she brought us a cake and we had ribeye it was really really good yeah uh but you know if you guys have never been around this part of the country and you like the fall time click up here in the top right hand corner of a video that i did fall in the smokies anyway folks we really appreciate you stopping by y'all take care and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time see ya bye